Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Project Sullivan. I'm Gilbert. And I'm Gogo. Which he's on his face. <laughs> what are we doing today, Gogo? This is the July 4th celebration at Vado Speedway Park. Fourth of July! And we're still working on the same race car for the last three weeks. Ooh, we might actually have brakes. Is that the new master cylinder? That one is. Is that how come there's brake fluid all down here after I just pressure wash? Do you need to pressure wash again? Ugh. <laughs> uh, you need some brake towels, Logan? Yeah. 10,000 paper towels. No, it's not that big. 10,000 paper towels. I don't see a light, though. Well, that's where it was. Ah, we have, a, we have an issue. It does look like it's already pushing. It doesn't look like it's bad, though. Y'all see what I'm talking about? See how it looks like the throwout bearing is already touching the fingers? We think that's the problem. Ah, crap. Are we pulling the bell housing off, too? No. So, take this bracket. You got to take the linkage off. Yeah. You got to take everything else off except for these four bolts. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can find the little light while, we're, while you're starting this on that. This is a seven, six, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Here is a metric nine sixteens. Seven sixteens. A half inch nine sixteens. And a half inch seven sixteens. The clutch keeps slipping. So we're gonna remove the shim out of our hydraulic truck. This is the most long-winded freaking bullet in the freaking world. Are you tightening it? No, I'm not tightening it. The day 275. We're still working on the same car. I think it's loose. We're still trying to get this hydraulic throw bearing set up. We have not been successful, but we will not let it defeat us. We cannot be defeated. Grandpa is insisting that we use our makeshift transmission jack. You guys might remember when we used this jack stand on the Dodge. Is it up high enough to push it? It's at an angle. Yeah, that's the stand does that. Just get it up high enough, put one bolt in, and it will adjust it. You want to try to pull it out a little? It's past it already. 
So if I pull it out a little, we should be fine. Yeah. Pull the transmission back. Okay, well, let's take a shim off first. I can barely see here. Hold on. And I don't see any fluid in here. So. I don't think it was coming out of there. I think it was coming off the drive shaft. I mean, the steering column. And that's how you properly take off a shim. Throw it until it's lost forever. Well, no, let's, we took one shim off. Let's put the throttle bearing back on. We'll re-stab the transmission and put a filler gauge on it and see where we're at. I work hard. I play hard. going on here grandpa i had to replace that master cylinder that wore out and you have to adjust it correctly so that it won't work i replaced this master cylinder adjust it out here because you can't touch it in the car you adjust it out here because you can't adjust it in the car yeah you got it while that's out we should probably weld that if you look right there it's broken and it makes the whole pedal move we should probably weld it while you got the brake brake cylinder out because that way we don't have to worry about catching the oil on fire, the brake fluid on fire. That's it, we're going back to race, Auto Speedway Park. So, we got the car ready to go. We're gonna see how well the car goes this this time. Mark Driver. So, I'm one of the announcers, it's myself and Joaquin. So I'll, we'll, we'll hand off like heat races, um, and then an intermission, he'll go down there and I'll call the main events. Yeah, I do the pre-race show, the podcast on Tuesdays. It's a, it's a lot of fun. My hat's off, go to like the social media team. Uh, they are doing some awesome stuff. So you can find these clips, uh, we'll, we'll post them on like Facebook, but also uh, at Bottle Speedway Park, or you can go to the YouTube channel, Bottle Speedway Park, as well. You'll find the Victory Lane interviews there. You know, Bottle Speedway Park is definitely one of the top five facilities in the entire United States. One of the most underrated facilities, and uh, we're putting more fans in the stands this year uh, than we have in the past. And I'm just super excited to see where this track is going. Dirt track racing has been a part of my life ever since I came into this world. And it's what I love more than anything. So to be part of it and to help it grow, uh, I absolutely love it. So you guys can look me up on Facebook. It's just Mark Dri Mark with a C. Mark Driver. Um, Instagram. I think my Instagram is like Driver Deep. Talk to me. I love talking to new uh, fans and drivers and answering questions. I can talk about dirt track racing all day. On a weekly basis, I'd love to see the fan count increase as well as the driver count increase. Bringing people from all over different areas. Um, you know we've got it's it's really a diamond in the desert here uh so i'd like i'd love to see just the community here grow i'll go with you okay oh is she in all right okay text me when you are oh offer. there's your buddy american girls and american guys will always stand up and salute we'll always recognize when we see your glory flying there's a lot of men dead so we can sleep in peace at night when we lay down our heads. My daddy served in the army. We lost his right eye, but he flew a flag out in our yard. Till the day that he died, he wanted my mother, my brother, my sister and me to grow up and live happy in the land of the free. Now this nation that I love is falling attack a mighty sucker punch came flying in from somewhere in the back soon as we could see clearly through our big black eye man we lit up your world like the fourth of july hey uncle sam put your name at the top of his list and a statue 
Now we're putting it on this side so that it's uh, on the fan side. Hey. How you want to do in the heat? Oh, we start uh, third row outside behind number 37, one of my good buddies. We plan on moving up. We start six. Plan on moving up. I'm uh, hoping to get the top three. That way I can weigh my car. We'll find out where we're at. We brought some extra weight to see where we're at. Hopefully we make weight. We ain't got to worry about it. All of a sudden, the last 15 minutes, it got super windy. So hopefully the wind stops. We're going to get the fireworks show done. And staging, I mean, in the pit meeting, they said that they're going to run the pier stock main event and the stock car main event and then the fireworks. No intermission. So we got to hurry up and get shit ready to go if we have something break. Gotcha. Okay. You want to do this? No, not yet because I got to get out over there. Oh, okay. You're clear. What do you mean you got to get out over there? Clear. Out in the infield. Oh, really? I think so. We'll put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. We're going to go meet up. Put your name at the top of his yeah. list. And a statue of liberty started shaking her fist. And the eagle will fly. And it's going to be. Of the red, white, and blue Nuts about racing, some might say we're all here because we're not all there, but we love this. We know you love racing too, but we know you love fireworks even more. But I want to thank all the people that work for us. You know, this kind of job, most people do it for free. We have volunteers here. We have Mike. We have Dean full-time. But when you love something like we do, you don't think about what time it is ever. You just think, I got something to fix. I got something to do. Last night, we had Mike and the crew. We're out here until 4 in the morning getting this fireworks thing ready. Um, that's who does that till four in the morning on a weekend? People who love racing, people who love what they do, and people who are proud to be Americans. By God, we are all proud to be Americans. That's why we're here, right? Thanks so much for being here. Definitely a big thank you to Mr. Royal Jones and everything you do for the racing community here as a whole. Uh, as we have our SH Automotive, your stocks. Guys, SH Automotive Pure Stock Heat Number One. Scott Sullivan out of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And Scott Sullivan coming fast from the back as well. The Haley Tribute Car. Scott Sullivan racing for his daughter Haley, who passed away off a tragic death. And he races for her in his tribute car. His car had gotten taken down not too long ago, and he got this one fully replaced. Awesome to see him out there with that American flag. With Scott Sullivan passing right underneath on the back straight, Scott Sullivan finally getting this new car dialed in. Almost looks like a late model out there for a pure stock, but it passes. We'll see what the Zip Tech team has to say later if anything.
Sullivan makes it out of there. So far, we might be looking at a green-white checkered. Checkered is up. right now um, there's def there's clearly some um, body damage where he hit the flag we're gonna see if he actually passed tech because we don't know how much this car weighs but it got it got it got high in temperature did it 220 how did it go in the heat I spun out well I saw but that you were throwing it that I started it hard, huh? You yeah. still finished in second or third. You dented my new hood. No, I didn't. No, he didn't even touch the hood. That's the amazing part. It's got a dent. Look, Mita, right here, a dent. Yeah, yeah. So, do you meet weight? I don't know. I couldn't stop on the scales. Really? Yeah, for real. For real, I couldn't stop on the scales. Well, it's because it was stuck in gear. Because I don't have, I can't get out of gear. I can get it out of gear, but I don't have a reverser first. Until you stop. No. Move that, move that shifter, the first one. Oh, crap. So it's stuck in third gear. And there's a bad vibration, though. It's still rubbing that. I see where it disconnected. What? It didn't disconnect it from the transmission right there. Good thing you put that transmission bracket in the... Um, oh, shit. He's not. Block it. He's not. Something's wrong. Why? It's breaking this train in the same spot. The drive line is fucked up. We built that drive line. Are you it's sure this, this housing thing get a little funny? No. I'm telling you. It's got a bad vibration. You think it's a drive shaft? It has to be. Is that you think that's causing your fucking... Yeah. Well, I don't know what the f is going on down there, but something down there. And we gotta figure that right now and see what's going on. What's the verdict, boss? It's gonna break. Are the plates gonna help or are they worsening it? I don't know. It ain't gonna hurt it, man. Take it off, fuck it. I mean, it's just eight bolts. Take off one side at a time so it doesn't misalign this bell housing. Took off the transmission brackets. Maybe that'll save the transmission for the next race. So we noticed that our transmission was starting to crack again around the the. It's leaking a little bit, but not too bad. Hopefully, we can get it to hold off in the main event to where it doesn't break. Cross my fingers. Haley, help us out on this one. It's got a mid plate for God knows what reason, because we have a transmission mount. 
So what we did was we took the plates off, the mid plate, we took the mid plate off, and the, the engine moved downwards on the driver's side about three quarters of an inch. We're hoping that's what was binding our transmission and breaking our transmission. So we're hoping that the transmission's okay. I can put another one in it this next week. That's not my problem. But for now, we're hoping to finish the main event. We start third row outside, which is sixth place. The car's a rocket ship. It's a great handling car. I started in the heat race. We got up to second place from sixth. The guy in first, he started a little ahead of me, right? Or next to me. He got lucky this time. So well, hopefully we're going to be moving up. I got to kind of baby it with the, with the transmission. We'll see what happens. So we're just trying to finish the race tonight. I know you guys hear that every week here recently, but sometimes that's how racing goes. Luckily, we still have a whole half a season to make up any lost space we have here. There you go. There you go. Okay. That tire looks low. I told you it looked flat. Row number three to the inside out of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico will be the 20 SS Scott Sullivan. Green flag is out, main event action is underway here at the Motor Speedway Park. Sullivan battling it out for that third place spot. Dunlop gonna go around here in turn number one. See if he can keep that going. So we can stay green flag racing. Right now the action heating up for second. We have Ortiz, Sullivan, and Hartman battling for second place. Sullivan is gonna hold on to that third place play spot as they go into turn number three. And Sullivan looks to be holding on to that third play spot, but Hartman.
right now the battle for fourth place between Scott Sullivan and the one kid, Zach Boy. going around there in turn two. safety crew fast at work there Michael Hartman getting out of that B-52 red flag conditions here at the Votto Speedway Park getting that incident taken care of there but Michael Hartman making his way out of that SH Automotive pure stock under his own power give him a hand race fans let him hear it Your transmission fucking held up, so you know those brackets were the problem. Was it humming? Did you have your hum? Vibrating. Still vibrating. Why, that could be the drive line because it's building. Yeah, we need a drive line, and we know where our transmission is. She did better. If they hadn't called the caution, we would have stayed in gear, in third gear, and we would have kept going. But what happened was they made me shut it off. Whenever I killed the motor, the brakes don't work. So whenever you shut it off, the motor goes, duh, 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 duh. and then it kicked that out of gear. Um, what's your name? Katie Seals. And what car do you drive? Uh, well, I started in 84 this year, and now I have yeah, P40. Like, oh, Are you racing for points? Uh, like, well, I wasn't, and I guess, no, I mean, who isn't, right? I mean, I try not to get too wrapped up in it, but if it works out, it works out. So um, I've had some pretty tough luck, so I, uh, I get that. I'm not really chasing points i guess i'm just hoping it shakes out pretty well but it's always fun to see how you end up you know okay if you've ever raced before what would you tell them about racing oh it's it's you can't even imagine it's just so much all at once it's the highest highs and the lowest lows and man sometimes it's super tough and then you have a really good night and you just get hooked again and then you think oh yeah I can do this I can do this and then you have a tough night and you're going home and you're thinking man I just kind of want to quit and I'm so tired of this and why do I do this but um, you just kind of have to balance it and I think a lot of fans just can't like understand how much emotional turmoil that drivers go through and maybe even the people closest to them that's extremely realize. well said actually <laughs> yeah. how long have you been racing I started in 2015 actually in mini sprints I didn't come from racing before that I actually showed horses and rodeoed and stuff gotcha. and I grew up in a racing family my dad's been racing since before I was born and then um, kind of got out of the horse thing and I thought well you know I have the resources and my dad can help me so I bought a mini sprint and that was tough I'm having a lot more fun in the stock car type bodies you know yeah because I lost the 84 car earlier this year and pulled this one out of the grass and we got that one pulled together in a week and actually my dad did he jumped through hoops i was at work and he put it together during the week and that was my old car i drove that one in 2020 part of the year you know and then 21 okay. and then i got 84 so i guess now i'm back in this one and what is there a quote that you live by or you'd like something my dad always tells me when i when i'm pretty bummed about a bad finish he just says hot rod is hard starting on the pole out of bosky farms new mexico and the p40 is katie seals Seals, though, she's looking at the inside as they go into turn number one. Race fans, lights going out here on the Votto Speedway Park in its entirety. 
We're going to have a beautiful spectacle here, race fans. Get to your seats if you're not there already. We have the best fireworks display in the nation coming right up. I'd ever seen in this front yard As they handed me my glass Smiling, thinking to myself Man, what a picture perfect Postcard this would make of America It's a high school this long you might as well subscribe and remember don't wait for opportunity create it and we may have figured out why uncle scotty spun out during the race shock mount oh the fucking bolt came off and that broke off dude 